Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Intel Solid State 750 Series PCI Express Drive. Now, as you may have noticed, this is the 400 gig capacity, a retail price there of $389.99. That is not the price I paid. This drive is now selling for roughly $270 if you can find it on sale. Part of the reason I'm sharing it with all of you today, that might sound like a lot for a 400 gig uh, SSD, but when it comes to performance, this is really the next generation. And if you're like me and you've been running a high performance build based around a RAID 0 configuration, this is really a logical next step to taking performance to a whole nother realm. Now this is the 400 gig capacity. You can also pick it up in a 800 or 1.2 terabyte capacity. And you can see right here on the back of the box, uh, Intel specking out the performance for the uh, different drives, but I've seen some different numbers on this, believe it or not. I've seen that the 400 does outperform the 800, uh, as does the 1.2 terabyte. So even though Intel is saying the 400 and 800 stack up exactly the same, that's not what current benchmarks show. Something I want to point out. If you know otherwise, go ahead and let me know. Uh, Five-year warranty on this. Again, this is a PCI Express drive, so this is not going to hook up where you traditionally would put any hard drive or SSD inside your case. Instead, it's going to sit really right on top of or next to your graphics card of choice. And that's because, well, Intel expects that anyone who's going to drop this sort of coin on SSD performance is also going to have a very powerful GPU in some form or fashion, whether we're talking about... Um, you know, rendering work or simply high-end gaming. Uh, so again, a logical step for me, at least now at this price point, to get bleeding edge tech that I really didn't think would be a possibility this year. With that said, let's get this thing out of the box. Um, and Intel, always personally a favorite of mine, so nothing new on that. See if I can cleanly br uh, break this seal without having an issue. Looks like I just did, or at least I broke something. And you know, when it comes to SSDs, uh, Intel has been something, you know, a brand I've always wanted to revolve towards. The problem was getting a value that actually ended up bringing uh, performance beyond just the Intel name. And they make a lot of great drives, but they're generally more about durability uh, than necessarily raw performance. Uh, this is where it changes, though, with PCI Express. So we've got uh, a driver, um, basically mini CD here. Uh, something you don't see too much of these days anymore. And then here is the PCI Express drive. Now remember again, the 750 series has three capacities, but the 400 gig is really the only affordable one. And if you're really just trying to get, you know, the base of your system, your OS, and, you know, core programs running at speeds that you simply could never accomplish uh, with any SSD, traditional SSD, uh, this is where it's at, and for those of you trying to figure out, well, where does this sit? Is this something you really need? To just give you some perspective, if you don't remember or don't understand the read-write speeds you saw before on the back of the Intel box uh, for this drive, what you're looking at here delivers really four times the performance of a traditional SSD. SSDs deliver four to five uh, times the performance of traditional hard drives. So this is really a natural evolution in terms of where storage is going. You can see uh, Intel claims this is, it takes up half a PCI Express uh, slot bracket. Uh, I'll have this sitting above my Titan X. I'm not really worried about temperatures and it getting cooked simply because I know that Intel has made this uh, again, with performance in mind, and they recognize that something like this is likely going to be very close to a GPU that inevitably is going to get very hot. Uh, but again, just really happy to share this with you. This is a piece of tech that I didn't necessarily think was going to be uh, something I'd be sharing with you here in 2015, even though it's on the market. Uh, when you look at competing products, they're just as expensive, but they don't have the performance that the Intel 750 line has. So um, I expect this to run cool. I expect this to run incredibly fast. Again, those speeds, the idea of having over 2,000 on the read side and I think around 1,800 on the right is just mind-numbing. And this is where it's at, folks. This is the next logical step uh, from traditional solid state. So I'll be breaking up my RAID 0 uh, config, which right now is uh, fantastic. I have no real complaints. It's just a matter of uh, once I saw that this was viable, uh, and 400 gigs to me, clearly I would love to have the 1.2 terabyte drive, but at 
I just can't justify it. The 400 gig model, on the other hand, far more palatable uh, at under 300. And again, netting me results that at least for what I do for all of you, which is shoot everything in UHD, is going to make my workflow a lot more, uh, I'll call it friendly, in terms of at least time consumption. Also, when it comes to running traditional programs, I'm going to see gains. Uh, will they be groundbreaking? Well, it really depends on what we're talking about. But overall, as I've been mentioning throughout the course of this video, this is where it's at if you're looking to take it to the next level. Some of you will want to throw these in RAID uh, 0. Uh, that's something maybe down the road, but that's right now. I'm just interested in seeing how this single 750 performs uh, in conjunction with my 5th gen uh, you know, i7 processor that I've got uh, based around my uh, main gear custom uh, built machine. For those of you curious, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, uh, as well as the Titan X. Not going to get into too many other specifics, but it's still pretty much a powerhouse. And now with this 750 on board, it's really going to scream. So excited, if you couldn't already tell. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.